Hey, there it is. So there's that now. Why, hello there. <laughs> okay, so it's you and me. And what exactly? Uh, and Chad's feet. And Chad's feet. A new website I'm putting together, Chaddington's Feet. Oh, let me move these. <laughs> it's a subscription site. <laughs> You're going to just crop out my Polar face. Just so it's on my feet. Or I can move just, my feet. Just your feet. There you go. Chadsfeet.com. You have, you have some delicate feet, Chad. He has pretty, pretty toes. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It's a little bit, I'm a little bit uh, intimidated. I used to have pretty feet. Uh, your feet have personality. Look at just how they move. They just look like they're pretty princesses, ready to go to the ball. Did you say princesses? That's what feet princesses are called. I don't know if you were aware of that. <laughs> oh, call. I'm sorry. I missed that. I'm going to hit record right now with you and Chad's feet. Because we're going to put this out on, on YouTube, right? Sure. Yes, we are. Okay. So this is All right. the beginning of the raw file. That's raw. That's, ooh, baby, I like it raw. All right. Five. So let's, here's what we'll do. We will start off our missives as we always do. We'll do our pitch. We'll explain what we're going to do. And then we will take a break. And because I'm going to edit this a little bit, I'm going to chop stuff up. And then we will give all of the ammunition to everyone. Sure. I'm down. You be the point guard. Listen, here's what I want you to do, Bri Bri. I want you to dribble the ball up the court. And I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run a fucking pattern. I just need you to pitch it out. I'll knock it down. Just let me know what I need to do. I'm all day. When, do, when do I score the goal? When do I hit the home run in this metaphor? You hit the home run in the end zone when <laughs> when, when when the badminton pitch strikes. When feet. the striker hits Nick Nolte. Exactly. Then... That's when you have to seize the Quidditch. <laughs> Oh, God. Like the goings on of getting the show together. No. <laughs> I would wow. love. <laughs> I like how I look like a tired piece of dog shit now, and you just flashed a video of me looking more tired <laughs> and more like dog shit. I'm sure. I, I'm I don't like, know I'm, what I'm watching about. myself in the screen, and I'm like, wow, I look tired. <laughs> and then you switch to that, and it's like, oh, no, no, no. Let's darken those bags under the eyes, like in Photoshop. <laughs> Let's darken those bags about 20%. Let's, Let's do this. Let's kick this 2 a.m. style, which is 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. right now. So yeah. it's like. No, it was later. It was like 3 in the morning. It was 3 in the morning by the time you got there. I'm between the sheets. Between the sheets. <laughs> Bri Brian Jerbs. <laughs> Who have you banged tonight? Hey, welcome to the Between the Sheets. He okay. splooged on the chest of a lovely lady oh this God. week. <laughs> of a lady of the night? <laughs> a night lady? <laughs> How many night crawlers have you come on? <laughs> come on, night crawler, yeah. <laughs> it just cuts through, it's all stuck, and it's just like it's a roach trap. <laughs> So okay, like, uh, all right. <laughs> Come on, man. Like a howler monkey. This <laughs> what? That's how I ejaculate. Oh my god. This is getting into uncomfortable territory for everybody watching us on Justin TV. <laughs> I can't believe you just admitted that we know that we're I was hoping everyone would think that like accidentally we were on Justin on TV. Ah, uh, so there, there's that. that. Just, in fact, that should be a new feature of this show. We're just randomly '80s theme songs start playing, and we immediately <laughs> have to start doing an idiotic. So dance. an '80s theme song starts playing, and we do a dance break like a '60s television show. <laughs> well, you know, I, I want to bring back uh, Sprockets. Like now is the time on Sprockets when we dance yeah. from 20 years ago. That exactly. Was 20, that was 20 years ago, motherfucker. 21. I know. What was I just saying today? That was like 15 years ago. Oh, I was talking to somebody. Uh who is going to be uh, somebody from the fifth element for Halloween. Oh my God. That was, that was 17 years ago. I know. And they're like, like, Oh yeah, no one knows who the fuck this is. And I'm like, listen, motherfucker, this shit was a while ago. And by the way, wasn't exactly universally popular when it came out. I hated, like, it. I liked hated it. that movie. Hated it. Did you? Yeah. Watching it hated in the theater. It. How, however, uh, um, Gary uh, Oldman was Gary amazing. Oldman. Amazing. 
Well, I mean, you could certainly say it's easily one of the, I mean, not a high hurdle to clear, but uh, one of the roles that uh, Milia Jovovich will always be remembered for, right? Like, if by what you mean role. the role that she will be remembered <laughs> for, name well, one other Milia. Name one other Milia Jovovich. Name one other. Oh, she has the whole Resident Evil franchise. Hmm. Don't, don't growl at me. They just did their fifth fucking movie. Hmm. Plus, they just mocked them in uh, in in the Bill and Ted show. Yes. So that, well, you know, now that we're on the record, Brian, what would you think of the Bill and Ted show? Dude, loved it tonight. Loved it. I was I was I was pounding my feet and clapping my hands and stopping the iPhone fours from blowing up America. It was awesome. The guy who yeah. played the, the the guy doing the uh, the Ari is just even better and better every time I see him. Oh, and here's what was great is I watched it with the folks from HHN and Rumors, Chad and Kelly, who had seen it a bazillion freaking times. You're frozen. Please yeah, interrupt us there. Okay. So uh, what was great, they had seen it a million times, so they were able to, it was like director's commentary. They immediately, hey, I kind of like this when, when, we're, when we're divvied up and, and I can see your pop screen and my microphone. So we're about, hello, Justin. It's like it's like Lady in the Tramp. Like we're just both talking into the we're same mic. We're about to go. Nom, 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 nom. And then we kiss. <laughs> All right. But the point that is- went from funny to really uncomfortably gay. Like I didn't think that nothing really changed. Our mouths really didn't move all that much, but it got really uncomfortably gay for two <laughs> so, seconds. Okay, so here's what I wanted to say. It's like we really accidentally kissed. Like we were making I, do, a joke do you feel and then like we accidentally this, kissed. This on is the lip. NSFW history in the making. <laughs> exactly. Imagine uh, the live show. So here's what I wanted to say is, um, oh, you know what? Here, let me tell them everyone what we're doing. Why they're even here? Anyone seeing us? We're gonna put recording a yeah. missive. Yes. For Tuesday's show. Yes. We're also going to use seven slurs. <laughs> you can spot them all, write them down on a postcard, and mail it to the following address. What OMG Chad's house. You. <laughs> okay. So. 4242 Candy Cane Lane. <laughs> so. Here's what uh, here's what I liked about it was the folks from HHN Rumors were there with us, and so like they had seen the show every single time. They said they don't even go to the houses anymore. They come, they watch Bill and Ted, they watch my two shows, and then they go home each day. So they knew really? all the changes. Well, because Cause that's gonna be the only thing that changes, right? Like the houses probably don't change all that right, much. Right, right. And once you've done them a few times, you get a night. Changed. Like they do the VIP events and they walk the they walk the the you know the areas and stuff. But it was awesome because like every little change, they would lean over and like the moment the show started, both of them I hear hoo behind me, and then I'm like, that's not the usual Bill. Ted's the same, but Bill's different. And I was oh, like, oh, really? is it an understudy? Yeah. What? 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 And so, what's interesting is we. Uh, uh, <laughs> was bi- that Bill shot and killed a man <laughs> earlier that day? <laughs> no, no, no. But like, all the dancers would randomly come up and grind their crotches on the guy in front of us because we were second row. The guy in yes. front of us was sitting there. Randomly, people would come up and grind their. Freaking the guy who played Ari, the douchebag agent, went up and ground his crotch and grabbed him and like shook tits in his face. And we're like, what is going on? And then finally they figured out that the guy in front of us is the one who usually plays Bill. Oh. It was, uh, so that was cool. So it wasn't just a random sexual harassment thing. No, apparently not. Apparently not. But it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. They said, they said that the show we saw was, was very similar to the last show and that they, they tend to get nutty at the end in the, oh, okay. in the last show. So I'm they're just about, like, they're just saying what they want. Yeah. And they got well, a little bit more leeway language wise. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean like you don't say the S word in your show. They I don't, say the I don't drop the S bit, or right? the F or the no. C. I never drop the C. No. Or the did, Q. Did they, did they drop the C word in that show? They, uh, no, they don't either. But I'm just pointing out all the words that I don't yeah, say. <laughs> if you were going to work the C word into your show, where would it be? It would be uh, right after y- the U word and the effing word. And the, wait, what, what the fuck? Did you just drop it right no, now? I'm not on mic. I'm not on mic. So oh, your mic is turned on. They heard it. No, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. All right. No. Sorry, my, my mic was off. Enough? I didn't freaking, want freaking anyone Chad to hear just what I said. On, Fred, Chad just <laughs> full on was just like, I recommend you shout you effing C. <laughs> you Wait, need to but put why this can't you word say word right we're, we're on the internet now. I don't know. We're trying to practice to be good peoples, aren't we? I don't know. 
I just want to know because you know your patter fucking backwards and forwards. All right, no, no, no here's what I do. I would you were just gonna it. work the c word in anywhere. Right? I would, I would drop it at a point that it just was so unnecessary and made no sense. So it's just like. Uh, you know what I do is I do like, all right, now describe everything as I put this nail in my eye. And they're like, yeah. okay, he's licked it. And they're like, <laughs> you know, that's right, I licked it. Okay, he you know, put it in his eye. I'm like, like a C word. <laughs> 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 and then just randomly without any explanation. See, I, would, I imagine that you would do it um, when you're selecting the person for Mr. Happy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, girl. Girl. Like oh, God, yeah, he likes girls. And then you drop it in to see if anyone will notice. Where it's like, like, uh, you, you there, you there, you look like a C. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> it just flies. Like, act and like then it's like, don't flinch. Hi, sweetheart. What's your name? Stephanie? Okay. Fine. Act like it's a synonym for party girl. <laughs> It's like you look like a C. Get on over no, here. No, 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 no. I like it's a synonym for straight A student who deserves a treat. <laughs> cheerleader. That's what the C word is, is cheerleader. Yes, exactly. Uh, it's like, well, you know, I was one in high school. My mom was a C. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so anyway, we record a thing for NSFW. Or as I like to call it, shittier than weird things. <laughs> Oh, Snapdragon, you did not, boy. Oh, fuck, no. Actually, no. Oh, I mean, is anybody watching? I'm not even watching the Justin You know what? Episode. I will see if anyone's watching. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to hit play here. Jump it over to, uh, we have eight viewers. This is really interesting. Eight. By the way, should we should we let them in? Should we let them in on the gag? Or should we tweet it? I don't want to tweet it out. This is an no, interesting no, gag. No, no, no. Stick Stop to the it. plan. No. Okay. Stick to the plan. Six viewers. Six viewers right now. And I'm betting not one of them is an NSFW two. fan. I've already lost two just by mentioning how many were there. Good. You're like, wait. Everybody who's watching, hang around because I will start jerking off. I might be right now. <laughs> and we're down to five viewers. Then the question would be, when am I going to stand up? <laughs> okay. Here's the question. If one person viewing right now is a real NSFW fan, tweet it out and let him know that we're about to record tomorrow's missive. We have our idea for next Tuesday's show. We're going to reveal it right now. We wanted to see what would happen if neither of us flexed any muscle whatsoever. If we just went live on bbliveshow.com at justin.tv. If, and if, 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 if a dick joke fell in the woods. Would anybody notice? We're going to do a full-on NSFW right now. It'll be a short one, but it'll be a full, full on, full on meaning full half on, length. I mean the exact opposite. <laughs> right, right. But full on, full on. I mean partial. Full, full on, full on. All right, are you ready Why to do this? Why don't we just this? started calling those numbers like right now? We what? just did it for our own. Oh my god, day. we full on did it. We called it for a little bit. Like, hey, bro, you gave us your number. You gave it's it blitz quiz, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna explain the bit for tomorrow's show. Okay, now we're at nine viewers. You know what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and I'll put the I'll put the number of viewers on there, and we'll see we'll know whether or not it grows organically. We're still at seven viewers. There it is. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the big question: Is can can you remember doing the time warp <laughs> again? That's who was in the theater before me. I know. Yeah. You should maybe you should work some of that in because it's very popular now with the Glee episode. So, so that. another thing from Justin that, that wait, uh, wait, wait, you got to You got to uh, You're losing your. It's on. I thought. Oh, sorry. So your thing is is not clear. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not see, very well. There you go. There you go. Is that yeah. better? Yep, that's all. Okay. Uh, another thing from Justin is is uh, he said that that. Uh, oh wait. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it. Well, we're no right now. Are you about to share gossip? No, no, no. Uh... <laughs> I would go ahead if you have to think about it. How about we don't say? It? Yeah, Justin. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. I don't think that uh, this, th this is gossip. Is, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. On the, we are yeah okay, okay, right okay, now. okay, you okay. Don't share gossip. Never mind then. Never mind then. Oh my god! All right. So anything. Uh, another thing that I said to Chad <laughs> in the earlier conversation <laughs> was that Brian is a is is the freaking loser of the group. Okay, so seriously. Weird things. By the way, Chad, where's where's your Captain Figglehorn's lime jamboree? 
Captain Normally, Tiffany whenever Lance. I see you after the show, you have your, yeah, your, your Captain your line? Uh, Unfortunately, the, the show ended after, uh, or we, we got home after uh, they stopped selling alcohol, so I have to hang uh, out with boom. Brian's hmm. beer. Hmm. So uh, all right, so here's the deal. Uh, we're going to record a missive because here's the deal, folks. We like to do things in NSFW a very oh, particular on. way, and that way is we like to put a little bit of effort forward. We like for you guys to do the rest. Okay. It's like pushing a car over a hill. We're going to get it, and then we're just going to go boop. I'm really disappointed. We went live like 10 minutes ago, and we're still at 10 viewers. That means nobody has discovered... Let me look on. Let me look on Twitter and see if anyone's noticed, because it makes me want to actually just just tweet out a little. Why? Oh. No, you are like you're like the the no self esteem kind of hot girl who shows up to school in, in like you know spends three hours getting her shit ready and fucking dresses really nice and wears like oh big my pumps, god even though it's inappropriate. Hold on, I got a present for you. What? Guess what? We have one true Can fan. Can you remember doing the time warp? We, <laughs> we have one true fan. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Guess who our true yeah. fan is? Here I bet you go. recognize him from his icon. Yeah, V404. A V404 who says, hey, everyone, Schwood is live. Thanks, Justin.tv, for pinging me. That's our he one true ponging. fan. He said ponging. Well, he meant pinging. He was playing ping pong. Now we're at 12 oh, and 11. Oh, See, oh. okay. But the point is... See, I think it should be for these people that are, are on <gasps> their toes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Some, apparently somebody is watching. Somebody says, Schwood, in case you happen to be by a computer, wink, here's your name backwards, forwards. This is from D. Connors, which means somebody else has figured it out. Ah, it's like the Da Vinci Code, only okay, hold less on. useful. Hold on, you ready? I want to hear it. We're going we're gonna to hit play on this file. How do I download it? See, I, okay. Oh, this is disturbing to me. Let me capture this, and you'll understand why it's disturbing, because I need your help. What the hell do I actually click on this? Where should I click to start the download? Pretty uh, sure that's not my file, because it says Bloomberg Business Week. No, I think it might be. Brian back, dot wave. Click, on, click to start download in the yellow box. No way. Do no, it. I don't believe it. Go. I'm going to uncheck this thing at least. It says your download is starting. Let's take a listen. My, my silly. <laughs> that doesn't sound anything like your name. <laughs> no, it does. It sounds like Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Hold it. Brian Brushwood. <laughs> Play Hold it on. again. Play it this again. is Brian Brush. Uh, he's like, hello, sir. Your backwards about sounds like Brian Brush. Really. Brian Brush. <laughs> oh, no, it, like, it sounds like I Brian Brush. Miller. No. Yeah, it's Brian Brush. I don't know. Brian sounds good. Brushwood sounds like 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 the way that I make all in, and intelligible sounds. <laughs> Schmirk and Bergen. Brian Brush. Really. <laughs> Brian Brushwood. Brian Brush. No, Shirley. you're making up that D. <laughs> Brian Brush. Brian Brush. Really. <laughs> shriller. It sounds like shriller. Because it's a shriller. <laughs> shriller night. Bonnie sang at you. Well, hello, it's me. Brian, Brian, shriller. And Justin Robert Young. See, they couldn't even notice. It sounded perfect. It did. Brian, Brian, shriller. Brian, Brian, shriller. Brian sounds great. So, so what's, Brian, what, what Brian, is it shriller. backwards that, that you normally say? What's that? Oh, oh, what is the original backwards thing that you you say? Marsh yep, yep. So just add a D in the front of that. But yeah, D sounds backwards, frontwards to backwards. It sounds different. No, D. D, like with anything with e, an H e'd. goes back. Anything with e. an H goes backwards. Yep, yep. So it needs to be Erlush, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe a Lush, nerp, nerp. Be, Because a Lush, nerp, nerp. E, D... Would be E. Yeah, but I don't say Brian Brush would D. Oh, okay. Maybe you should try. <laughs> Mr. Sloppy Mike. Yeah! That's really loud. That's really loud. That was really Dude. loud. Danny DeVito... 
just troll foot picture? Looking for something more? Get more pages, more savings. It's your fault. When you switch to original HP Multipacks. Justin. Do it. Why Is are it? you yelling at me? There's more facts coming out about Charlie Sheen um, at the Plaza Hotel. What are we watching? Wait, was that me who made that sound? Yes. I thought that was you, and we were no. all pissed off at you for that sound. No, people are pissed off at you. And well, they live in your house, and they're and they're related to you by marriage. You were the one that told me to click on that download thing. By the way, because Yo, you, you wanted to do the time war. <laughs> how, how sweet are those pumpkins? Check out my pumpkins, yo. I know. Motherfucker, I sent them to you. <laughs> you did not send them to me. Yes, I did. I forwarded it from NSFW, and then I, I totally tweeted not. about it. I thought you were saying you carved them for me, and I'm like, you no. fucking liar. You did not carve me any pumpkins, motherfucker. All right. No. Okay. No, so, all right, you ready? You ready to start explaining this bit? Let's go. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We're going to make it short. We're going to please my wife. Let me do this. Here we go. Right. Yeah, you damn right we will. That's my wife in time. All right, hold on. In fact, I'm going to restart this. And just like that, it's time for a missive. Wait, why am I putting this thing that says recording a missive for Tuesday's show? Because we're recording a missive for Tuesday's show. That's why. Just Robert Young, you want to explain to the nice people what's going on? Something happened in this Tuesday, something that we should know or care about that involves your tongue, perhaps? My tongue's going crazy. How so, sir? Um, <laughs> all right, so here's the deal. As everybody might know, um, we've abolished dictatorships in this country, and we run on a representative democracy. And every year, on the first Tuesday in November, we elect the same sycophants and weirdos who will govern us for the next few months. So, so it is written, so it shall be. May yes, so be it shall come to pass. Anno Domini, push poll exit strategy. Um, <laughs> here's the deal. Uh, because there are, are all this election season is coming to a head. It's all anybody's going to be talking about. We're going to be live. We're going to deliver to you all the election coverage that matters, which is to say... Not a whole lot. Our own. <laughs> Which is only the Christine O'Donnell race. That's all we'll talk about. Is, and exactly. First, not even whether or not she wins, but whether or not we think she's a witch. From moment to moment, we'll have polls exactly. on whether or not she's a witch. And it's going to start, it's going to be like, like this. Christine O'Donnell, witch or not, I say yes. I say perhaps. Check with <laughs> us again in 15 minutes. Yes. And then we're going to tease. <laughs> Be back like, with oh, us in 10 minutes when we find out. New information in the Christine O'Donnell witch trial. I say yes. I say like, wait for it after the break. <laughs> So look, uh, by the way, we've got some, we already have some fantastic time, leads. I'm going to be like, I say yes. And you're going to go, wouldn't you like to know after the break? So I, by the way, we already have some leads on what we're going to do for Tuesday. I'm excited about for the main bit. But meanwhile, we wanted to get you guys started right now because throughout the episode, because obviously the election will be a very big theme. We want you guys to write all of our best bits. Here's what we want to do. Throughout, we, we'll have three segments, as, as we usually do. We'll have a, a small one, a small one, and then a big feature. But throughout the whole thing, we're going to be stopping for commercial breaks. And during commercial breaks, we would like to run some advertisements for our president of, what, the Better Net, I guess? Or what, what's the office that we're running for? I don't even think that we need to be, have a, a, a post. I think <laughs> we're not even just an go office. for attack There's ads. no yeah. office. It's just, it's just attack ads between me and Justin the entire it's time. It's just long. some things that we saw on the TV. Okay. And because we can't control ourselves, now we've decided to emulate it. Here's what we want to do. We want to have you guys create campaign ads for me, Brian Brushwood, father, gentleman, scholar, professor of the better net, and this scurrilous scoundrel, this fiend of freedom, this person please, who would please, sooner take a please. dump on your mother than the gentleman would like to speak. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. My name is Justin Robert Young. You can trust me because I have three names and Brian has two. Yeah, Why is he hiding his third name? Dude, just That's like, just you like need to ask John Wilkes Booth and John Wayne Gacy. Uh, yeah, again, can, can I please speak? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, listen, we all know what true love is. And we know that 
Brian's empty, soulless eyes are incapable of it. He's got beady little tiny dots that convey nothing other than pure evil. Me? Big, round eyes. Yeah, exactly, like an anime character. That means you can trust this face, and I trust you. Furthermore, I think we should go all the way this Saturday at the Sock Hop, better net, and that's a <laughs> promise. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want to have three sets of ads. We want some to be positive of us talking about all the things we've done for America, for the better net, for Bone Earth, for NSFW, for the chat realm, for Twit, for Revision 3, for weird things. Second set, maybe cast a little shadow of doubt on our opponents with a with a, yes. with a dragon claw maneuver. This is yeah. this is the the limp dragon. That looks dragon a lot claw. more like kitty cat. By this the is way. the kitty That's cat dragon really... claw. Rawr, kill you. <laughs> All right, and then the third round, we want to have full on be nothing but attack ads. I want to see. I want to see someone starts to talk and it just goes. Say so talks in slow motion, like Rawr. yeah, black and white, a slow pan Rawr. in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're talking about ridiculous photoshops too. Like really, like all of a sudden Brian tips over an orphanage and just starts shaking out <laughs> money and children. No, that might be ambitious, but I'm saying you can edit anything. Now, here's the thing. Here's what we wanted to do, right? That's a lot to give you guys. Now, you already have 46 episodes of NSFW episodes, 45 episodes of BB Live shows, 137 episodes of Scam Schools, and uncountable iTricks episodes to pull quotes out of context yes. for. But we don't think that's quite enough. We think that you need more ammunition to make each of us look worse than the other. Now, now I say this. Now, keep in mind, if you want it aired, you could probably detect that un invisible line of what might be too far, right? But feel free. Here's what we want to see. We want to see you guys record your own voiceovers. We want to see you take footage of us and make it look like a political attack ad. Here's the biggest thing, guys. They've got to be short. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. 45 uh, at the, at I, the outside. I, I, I say hard cap at 30. Oh. I, I, don't, I, I think it's going to have to be something... Truly, truly, truly. Yeah, because we're going to want to show a lot way of them. Beyond 30. We're, we're yeah. going to have to see a lot of them. So, a lot of 15 to 30 seconds ads. We'll play them back to back to back. Every commercial break in the next episode of NSFW will be cram packed with, with four to five attack ads between the two of us. And Justin and I are not going to acknowledge them at all. This is just, this is just, this is just, just stuff in the background. That's, that's what Listen, the sponsors it, are playing it's, at it's, the moment, right? But it's, it's up to you guys to make As our president said, the silly season. Exactly. It's the season. It's a silly season, right? Okay. So yeah. we want you guys to, so let's do this. Why don't we do this? Let's put together, let's have a mock debate to get things started. All right. We're going to do about well, three see, minutes, a little mock debate. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, BetterNet. I'm Brian Brushwood, your host, one of three kings here at Bone Earth, and I'm here to tell you that I deserve to remain the president. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Justin Robert Young. I'm here to let you know that I will always be here for you, and as a king of Bone Earth, and really... The key behind our brain trust, I'm a respectful opponent to Brian Brushwood, whom I do respect, but I think I'd be the better choice, and I think there's plenty of reasons why. Mostly because I don't sit there and mug like an eight-year-old child who hasn't gotten a nap while my opponent's talking. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you done? Are you ready to start this debate? Can we have our first question from the chat room right here at Justin.TV? Kick it to us! Chatties, because we are ready to do what it takes. I'm one. I, I am. I am against using the ethnic slur, chatties. I just want to <laughs> let everybody know. They've I done. want to be on record as saying that. That's their own word. That's our word. I'm a chatty. Listen, I'm one eighth chatty, and I'm not proud to admit it. You are really digging yourself a hole there. <laughs> I want to distance myself as far away. Listen, from... man, I've been there. No, you no, you listen. I've been no. there in the chat room. I've been there trying to salvage the disconnect between you and the rest of all of Bone Earth, and I, for one, don't appreciate it. I, for one, think that the people deserve better. They deserve one of their own. The chatties deserve 
a fellow chatty in office. Chat uh, room I, forever. I, ab- I absolutely think that uh, this is a patronizing, disgusting example, and uh, one that happens all too often with, with Mr. Brushwood, my distinguished opponent. Uh, I, I can say right now, I, I hoped things wouldn't descend to this level, but now I'm forced that I once heard Brian Brushwood in my company refer to the box in which text scrolls as a bunch of shiftless, lazy chatters. Uh, and, and he might say uh, that he's one of you now, but it was not the distinguished hatred that I saw pour out of his mouth that one fine day. Uh, from the chat room, we have the question, what is your position on the color blue? And I tell you what, there are people who have different opinions about the color blue. I'm one who loves it deeply. I color many things blue. But you know what I don't do? Is I do not wear it as a banner to try to shift the populist's opinion of me in a lazy attempt to pander to the color preferences of the masses. I believe that your color preference is your own private choice, and I don't wear it on my sleeve. What do you say, Justin? Excuse me, sir. Uh, I just want to let everybody know that I'm not dancing away from this issue. I don't have to answer this question because my true allegiances to the color blue, ladies and gentlemen, they lie all around me. I am not some Johnny come lately. I am not a, a triangulator. I do not look at all the opinion polls and try to figure out, oh, what's the best course of action? What's the most politically this, expedient this, way this to go about? Of ah, astro let me, blue. let me, excuse me, sir. That is against Robert. Lee. This is astro blue, and I won't stand for it. This kind of astro blue. I am true blue, Ethel. Indeed, you're not, sir. All right, also from the chat room. How do you get into that? You can't get last words in. This is disgusting. <laughs> you know what? That is one of the benefits of running the, running the board. <laughs> Let me tell you, the Bryans control the media. That's why we's in charge. Again, another racial term <laughs> thrown around. All I'm going to say. All I'm I gonna- won't stand for it. Listen, everybody who's ever watched NSFW surely knows. Hello. My name is Justin Robert Young, and I'm the one on the show who's not the abject racist. Can my partner say the same? I don't think so. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, America. I'm Brian Brushwood. You may know me as the host of NSFW or one of the lesser participants of the more popular weird things. I'm here to tell you that I believe that the better net deserves better. For too long, we've dealt with the shiftless instability of a man who incites words that offends our sponsors. I believe we deserve someone who could bring us together, who could smile and nod, and then shift the camera and the responsibility to someone else. Hi, better net. It's me, Justin Robert Young. But really, I should go by only one name. Results. When Brian was reading the ads, did we ever get word from the sponsors claiming that they had such a good time watching them? Did we ever get unprecedented reports of usage of coupon codes? No. Brian can't say that. I can. Justin Robert Young means three words. Money, money, money. When Justin Robert Young read the Carbonite ads, he used words like racist, genocide, and unadulterated evil. Is that really who you want reading your ads? Vote Brian this year. Here are some words from Carbonite and Squarespace. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Hilarious. Unprecedented success. Justin Robert Young, he tells it how it is, and he brings home the bacon. Sizzle it up, kiddies. Justin Robert Young claims that words like great, fantastic, (laughs) and unprecedented results are enough to make him worthy of your vote to read sponsors. But do you really want your sponsors read by Justin Robert Young? 
Vote Brian. <laughs> 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 All right, can we we need we need a bunch of out of context quotes to throw at this thing so they can. They All right, can... so wait, these should be quotes that we could be used against our will. Yes. Okay. So what we need to do is is uh, do me a favor. Give me three quotes about the movie Titanic. I thought it really had pacing problems. One more. I'd make out with that old woman. <laughs> <laughs> One more. I really thought Billy Zane was misunderstood. Okay, now you ask me a question. I'll give you three responses. Uh, Brian, how do you think blacks are different than whites? Mm -hmm. I think that kind of question is what divides this country and this No, you have to give it out of context. You have to say something that can be used against you. I listen. That's why I'm the better politician. Is because I'm not oh, giving you the. Stop it! Are we actually? Come on! We out of context. That's just it. Is the whole point of out of context is you take the kind of thing you said and you apply it to the uh, the, the kind of question you asked. You got to ask me something not about blacks in America. Come on. Okay. All right. So, uh, what's your favorite candy? <clears throat> <laughs> I like chocolate. I like orange candy. And I think it be, should be chewy in the middle. See? Now you see. You got much more out of me phrasing it that way. Now let me ask you a question. <clears throat> sure. What's What are three things you notice the most about Jersey Shore? Um, I notice the beautiful scenic ocean. I notice uh, a bunch of good friends having a great time. And I notice what are most likely fake tits. Okay. Your witness. Brian Brushwood. What was your favorite musical acts as a child? You know, I'm glad you asked me that question, Justin, because I got this letter just recently from a 12-year-old in Darfur who asked me the following question. Brian, what can you do to end the suffering where I'm at? And when I read a question like that, it's very difficult for me to think of the trivialities of what songs we enjoyed as children, what pastimes we enjoyed here in the most affluent society in all of America, and I think it's important that we focus on the bigger picture. That's why I pledge, without question, to better the better net and to make Bone Earth a stronger, more disciplined world where all of us can have the chance to end the suffering. Justin, I have a question for you. <laughs> what? You're supposed to name three bands, idiot. What? <laughs> You can't, like, uh, we're just going to do political speak, then we can just do that all day. I thought we were looking to give uh, each other ammunition <laughs> okay, all right, to all hammer right. no, no, each you're other. Right. Okay, okay, all right. What, uh, name three By the way, did you see what your wife just tweeted? What did she do? Oh, shit. What did Seven she minutes tweet? ago? What, what do I miss most about home? Schwood recording NSFW in a studio. <laughs> This is, I can already see, I can already see, like, the tweets come up, like, Bow. Brian's wife doesn't <laughs> even like him recording in SFW. Bow. <laughs> Do you want this man running your better net? Uh, okay, tell me your three favorite um, black exploitation movies of the 70s. Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown 2. The Revenge Foxy. of Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown 3. <laughs> Kid Foxy. <laughs> Foxy Boxing. Foxy Boxing. Okay, all right. Your witness. What do you got? Um, Brian, in three words, describe a rainbow. <laughs> a rainbow is magical. That's not three words. It's You're scientific. Three words. You are already over three words. What do you mean? All right. Total answer. Total answer is three words. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> you want to ask the question again? Brian, in three words total, 
Explain your feelings when you see a rainbow. Double. Complete. Meaning. Tarded. Did you just did you just use like a a nasty word against me? No, I was referring to the TARDIS of Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> and how TARDED it was. Okay. <laughs> it was <live> very TARDIS. <laughs> Okay, Justin, <clears throat> as we wrap up our debate here, would you like to give us a short speech uh, in a paragraph? What will you do for us? Brian, I can only promise to do what I've already done. See, every time that you watch NSFW and you think, wow, you know, that was a really fun, entertaining hour, I want to let you know that I put my 100% all into that episode, especially over the last month. I would like to see my opponent, Brian Brushwood, answer the same on that, because I don't think he honestly can. He's been too busy focusing on his family and making sure he doesn't go bankrupt because he's too busy putting on a show at Universal Studios. Who's picked up the slack? I have for you. It's me and you against the world, chat realm. Don't leave your jury behind. Hello, Betternet. Citizens of Bone Earth, it has been my pleasure for over two years now to serve as your ambassador to shenanigans and tomfoolery the internet wide. I was there when Melissa made her day. I was there when we introduced the boys of Film Riot and we played a little game called name that autocomplete it's been a good time and i want to continue to bring you these experiences now i know my opponent justin robert young is better looking than i i know he's better spoken and i know this because he repeatedly tells me how much better looking he is and he makes fun of every moment i misspeak on the mic well i'm sorry some of us aren't trained journalists some of us are just regular americans looking to interact with other regular americans and I think you guys are like me. Regular old people who want to have fun on the internet. And we don't need to do that using words like genocide and Squarespace. We could do that just by having a good time together. Vote Brian for a better, better net. I would like to point out that uh, Brian specifically does not want us to use the name of the sponsor that pays for the show. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and you can pull that quote where he says, I don't want to use words like genocide and square space in the same sentence. I want to point out that Justin Robert Young is probably the smarter of the two of us and the cleverer of the two of us. And Clever I think he's very good looking. I would like to point out that Brian is uh, the more hardworking of us. He is uh, the more true of purpose and aim. And unfortunately, it's that kind of work ethic that leads him away from focusing on NSFW. You know, he's a very, very busy guy. But is that the kind of guy that we want to count on for the future of our little show? I don't think so. I would like to point out that Justin Robert Young, despite claims to the contrary, appears in his latest appearances to be growing a beard. Would you like to respond to that, Justin Robert Young? Uh, I, I am growing a beard. Ah, I have so been you growing admit a beard. It. You there admit no, in public. I, have never, I, I think this is a false accusation to think that I'm trying to carry on something in secret. The love affair with my beard in NSFW grows as long as, as the time does spin around the quill of history. I, I very much think that my beard, whether it's here or not, is woven into the fabric of this very quilt. And by that, I mean I can't move my head more than a few inches from it. I'm going to say this. There are people, Justin, who claim that you are so obsessed with your beard that it is impacting your performance, that you allow it to dictate what you will and will not do. How do you respond to those claims? I uh, can absolutely say that my beard and my love affair with it is no more distracting than a certain very demure haircut 
on an opponent of mine. If my beard is an attention getter, then what's happening atop Brian Brushwood's head is literally the Holocaust. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we quote you just Rob Young as saying that Brian's hairstyle is literally the Holocaust? I think that my my quotes will stand by themselves. <laughs> okay. Uh, meanwhile, <clears throat> I'm trying really hard to look up the jury's beard video to play right now <laughs> during this debate. Wait, we don't need to play. Remember, we're only doing sound <laughs> okay, bites. Okay, all right, so all right, all right. We're not right, actually right. debating <clears throat> each other. You're like, <clears throat> well, how are you supposed to manage the better net, the, all of the internet, and everything that matters on Bone Earth when you have fans playing videos like these about your beard? Have you not watched NSFW? It really is telling that Brian brings up something like this because he clearly is out of touch with what NSFW is. It's call and response. We do something on the show and Chat Realm in its infinite creativity and compassion and work ethic creates beautiful works of art, much like the Jerry's Beard video. Better net. Let me explain something. There's a rule to internet comedy and that is that in a situation where you have two hosts two co-hosts of the internet they need to be represented equally I know 99% of you are already making videos supporting Justin Robert Young and perhaps you should with that beard he's a damn fine individual but don't forget who brought you to this dance why don't you kick a few videos my way the Brian Brushwood way well, there you go again, Brian. <laughs> Playing the old humble guy on the apple cart. Well, gee shucks, Willikers. I don't think anyone's going to support me. But let's look at the facts, will we? Brian Brushwood has one of the most popular shows on Revision 3. Brian Brushwood has scores more Twitter followers than I do. And Brian Brushwood, while... Uh, uh, pretending to focus on NSFW has already started another podcast on the Twit Network. Can you really say that I'm the great favorite that he has to maybe one day come and climb up the beanstalk to get mean old Justin Robert Young? Gee willikers. I don't think that's true. Justin Robert Young claims that just because Brian Brushwood is hosting Frame Rate with Tom Merritt on the Twit Network, he's not able to service your needs at the BetterNet. But meanwhile, did Justin mention his other podcasts? A little show called Weird Things, also hosted with Brian Brushwood. Or did we not mention the Magic Week in Review? How many other podcasts is Justin running around with? I don't want to know. I want to go with what's safe. Brian Brushwood. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Brian Brushwood seems to insinuate that the other podcasts I do are taking away from my work on NSFW. But folks, listen, the proof is in the pudding. While Brian is out gallivanting with Tom Merritt, talking about Lord knows what on frame rate, I'm hard at work every Tuesday making sure that the bits get cooked up to a fine point of edibility. <laughs> and, you know, what is he doing? He's out there saying, oh, I think The Walking Dead's gonna be great. Do you agree? Yeah, I give it 18 frame rates up. Sorry, folks. There's only one guy looking out for your Tuesday enjoyment, and he's the one making sure that everything's funny by the time 10 o'clock rolls around. Justin Robert Young. Justin Robert Young told me he doesn't even believe in Horse Boy. Do you want someone saying those words on the internet? Brian Brushwood refuses to confirm or deny whether or not he raped Horse Boy. I don't know. Do you? Let's ask him. 
Accusations of rape may be hilarious to someone as lowbrow as Justin Robert Young, but Brian's more interested in what Fapper has to say. Brian Brushwood refuses to answer allegations that he raped Horace Borey or find it funny. Do you want somebody who is both an ambiguous possible rapist and a non-sense of humor having nudge? I don't think so. In his most recent ev- <laughs> in his most recent <laughs> attack ad, Justin Robert Young insinuated that Brian is somehow a less qualified candidate because he didn't find horse rape funny. Is this the man you want leading the better net? When it comes down to making laughs at all costs, do you really want to totally write off horse rape jokes? I don't. <laughs> I don't think you do either. Vote Justin Robert Young. I'll joke about anything. And I mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I just I just I just kicked over the lamp. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we got to do some. Uh, this message is approved by. <clears throat> okay. I'm Brian Brushwood, running for president of the BetterNet. I approve this message. I'm Brian Brushwood, and I approve this message. My name is Justin Robert Young, and I approve this message. They call me Jerry, and I approve this message. My name's Justin Robert Young, and I approve this message. And one more. My name's Justin Robert Young, and I approve this message. BB approves this message. The Beebs approves this message. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the Beebs approves this message. By the way, of everything we've ever done, Justin, I think recording these blanket statements of approving messages that can be cut out of context and placed anywhere oh, yes. may be the worst idea we've ever had. And I'm curious <laughs> to see what all it shows up on in the future. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, you got anything God. else? All right, are we good? I think we are, man. I think we got a lot. Look, look, uh, the point is you guys have a lot to pull from. We want to see, um, no matter what, I want to hear that, you know, and then and I want to hear voiceovers that are like, Brian Brushwood has stupid hair. How can you trust this man? And it doesn't have to be for any particular office. I just want to see attack ad. I want to see positive ads, gone bad, 15, 30 seconds each. We want to play as many of them as we can in this upcoming episode. Until then, what else, what else you got to share with us, Justin Robert Run? Uh, at Justin R. Young on Twitter. Make sure you follow me and at Schwood uh, for any last minute play by play missives. Uh, hit us up on the Twitch. That's, just, that's the word, dude. Come on, this is going to be huge. Come on. Um, hey guys, so for those of you, it turns out some of the big names have shown up. T2T2 T2 is here. Uh, Adam12 is here. Yes, Adam12. This is freaking that. great, man. And of course, uh, Vincent404 put it on there. By the way, Brian Brushwood. that's Brian Brushwood. Come on, listen. No, it's Brian Schwill. Brushwood. Brian Brushwood. Well, but, but two out of three syllables? Brian no, I know. I think it's good. Brian Brushwood. Let me hear your name backwards. Justin Robert Young. It's actually a palindrome. <laughs> <laughs> you oh wouldn't think God. so, but it is. It's like race car. Dude, okay, let me hear your best attempt at you backwards. No, I don't, because I don't know how to do it. You know how to do it. Brain, my silly. Brain, my silly. Brain, best wood. Yeah, no, you got Brian. Brian you got Brian down on a major. And way. the brush, Brian brush. Brian brush really. If I just had good wood, Brian brush really. If I just had wood, Justin. If I just had. If wood. I only. 
If I only had wood. If I only had some wood. <laughs> I <laughs> would <laughs> bone a million cows. If By I cows, I mean fat girls. <laughs> hey oh. <laughs> I'm singing a song. It's three in the morning. <laughs> Why am I not recording this for, the <laughs> for you? Twenty people in the chat room are low. Welcome to late night, <laughs> the croon hour on Justin TV. I'm singing a song. Hey, for twenty people in the chat room, chat room to you. And ladies and gentlemen, Brian Brushwood. Take it away, Brian. Ooh, chat room. Talking about the chat room. What do you think of the chat room? He thinks. Ladies and gentlemen, Penny and Hitler. That <laughs> rambunctious duo that's sweeping the nation. Penny and Hitler. Penny and H. Hey, who's there? Penny and Hitler. <laughs> You know I've been saying Hitler's name in my stage shows? Yes, I do know that. Is that a bad idea, you think? Well, it depends on how the audience reacts to it. I say, the audience is reacting you know what well, I do right? is I say it ambiguously. Like, you know, if they freak out about it, I'm just like, yeah, I know, Hitler sucks, right? But if they're kind of cool with it, I was like, hey, maybe there's a meeting on Thursday. You should join us. <laughs> I'm using Hitler's name in my show. Secret agenda. Trying to recruit. New Nazi party. You better follow suit. You haven't made that rhyme, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go where all the Nazis go. <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights. The Brian all right, that's enough. That's show. enough. That's enough. That's enough. Menace and malice and Nazis. Oh, my Nazis God. Mark B is palace. watching. Who's watching? Leo Laporte's watching. Uh, no, more importantly, freaking Mark B, who you might remember from Squ he tweets as Squarespace. He's up right now. He's watching you right now. Squarespace. Oh. Hi. Bye. Like to forget when I was singing about Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Squarespace. It's your favorite place to get a website. Ten percent off. Lifetime of your order. Use NSW when you check out. No credit card is needed. No, it's Squarespace oh oh where you wanna go. What if they had freestyle crooning battles instead of freestyle rap battles? I feel like oh I do way you better. Should totally start freestyle crooning battles as a freestyle crooning battle. The internet. Your <laughs> face is stupid. <laughs> I think you're a big schmo. <laughs> Your rhymes are terrible. You've <laughs> got to go. And they like, and it's like you have to do it as a duet. You have to sing with the other person. It's like crooning rap offs. Where exactly. It's like, it's, yeah. That's why you're like, you're like, I'm standing next to you. You smell bad. <laughs> Too bad your girlfriend lost a virtue to me in the backseat of my Monte Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> and there's those audibles. You could either, like, rhyme yourself or you could toss it to them and give them a difficult line, rhyme. Like, I had sex with your mom on top of an orange. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> How do you, what you gonna do now, sucker? <laughs> You can't ride with orange. I feel like that's out of bounds. I feel like you get five yards back if, if that happens. <laughs> you like and by a... the way, we're doing this on a football field where we <laughs> slowly make our way from one point we to the other. We actually have to move up and down the football field as we and play Depending on how game. well we do. And they whistle, they whistle blow. They're like, that's 10 yards for the jerks. Exactly. And, by, and then like, like on any size football field, they're like, this is way too small of a draw. For an entire football stadium. <laughs> There's like 30 people there watching. Not and those even. 30 people are freaking rocking it. They're dancing. I know, but most most of those people think that a football game is going to start at some point. <laughs> They're like, when does they hit him? When does <laughs> The guy doesn't speak English. He's like, when does they hit him? When does the hitting begin? 
You're a little foreign. Why are you here, man? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> That's how you know that the game really ends. Is like the two of us like team up against the, the audience. Then we get then we get insult crooning. Right, right. <laughs> then, then the two of us like we have our we have our uh, bow ties untied and we have arms around each other. We're like, yeah. and that's why you suck. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Go kill yourselves. <laughs> Die in a fire. See you next oh, Tuesday. Right. What's up with that Asian guy? <laughs> He's wearing a plaid shirt. You look like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> All right. Uh, Met job of the hut. Oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> now. Okay, good night. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye, Brian. So long, peoples. <laughs>